What's up guys, it's Charles here with Rocket Punch Army to do a review of a rather old figure. This is what I'm trying to do, I'm just trying to dig up stuff that I'm packing away and reviewing them since I think the last time I reviewed this wasn't even on this channel, it was on my first channel. But anyway, this is the Type J9 Griffin, the flight unit version from Pat Labor or Pat Labor, I don't know what you want to call it, I call it Pat Labor, Mobile, Mobile Police. And this is a release by CM's Corp, which are no longer around, unfortunately. They did a great job with some pretty obscure robots. Not that this was super obscure. It was a pretty popular anime. But this is number nine in the line. And they've also got a... Uh, they got the flight unit, and then they got the aqua unit. I, I don't know, something like that. I think it's something with the water. I don't remember. That's what H does. And not keeping up with the anime for years. But as you can see here, it's from 2007, so it's kind of cool to re, uh, revisit some of these old figures. Now that we're getting so used to like new stuff that's just awesome all the time, stuff like this was groundbreaking, and you're going to see why. Because back in 2007, you know, it's a pretty sweet spot in the whole Chogokin thing, but there was just something really special about this one, uh, which we'll get into in a second, like I said. But the back here you can see, um, you know, the graphics. I don't know what happened to this box. There's poop all over it. I don't even know. And the box is crushed. I normally don't buy stuff like this. I don't remember what the deal was with this. Maybe I, it was on clearance. I think from H HLJ, possibly. And they probably just sent whatever they had. But it still doesn't explain the poop on the back. Maybe I got it used. I don't know. But anyway, it's got poop on it. I'm surprised I haven't tried to take that off. That is so weird. Actually, let me see what it is. Yeah, it's definitely poop. Alright, so... I don't know what happened, guys. Look at this. I don't remember ever buying anything this crushed. I'm surprised it is like that. Maybe, maybe it got messed up here. I don't know. I really don't want to think about that right now because I would be very upset. But I normally... <laughs> I don't even remember. What the hell is going on? I don't remember ever having it like this. Maybe it got crushed here during moving. I don't know. It got wet. It's got poop. I don't know. Anyway, it's a little upsetting, but uh, whatever. It's here. Uh, I was just going to pack it away. So I can't imagine. Look at this. Can you see that? How crushed that is? Look, it's like crushed right up against the figure. It's so weird. Well, the fact that it's crushed up against the figure is probably not going to move then. Anyway, we're getting out of the uh, subject here, but <laughs> this is what he comes in. A big, uh, huge styrofoam tray. Uh, and we're actually just going to go ahead and grab him right now. Oh, almost forgot to show you guys this. This is uh, the tray that it comes with. It's got some alternate hands. It's got the pistol here, which I'll show you. And it's also got plugs for the screw holes, which is really awesome. But I like to have the screw holes on the figures. Are you guys really prepared for this shine? Look at this thing. You know what makes it more amazing is like the shine that you're looking at right now. That's all die cast. See that? That's painted die cast. Almost all the entire figures die cast, except for the wings. I wish the well, no, I don't wish the wings were <laughs> die cast because this thing would just fall over. But it is beautiful, guys. Look at that. Just holding this figure is amazing. I mean, because of its weight, obviously, like. You know, the joints aren't that great, but, you know, they are kind of firm. It's just the whole weight of the figure, but it's almost unnecessarily heavy. You know, it's not really meant to be a toy, even as a static display. It's beautiful, but just picking it up is really where, you know, this this figure shines. Well, <laughs> no pun intended. And it's also got, like, little furry, velvety kind of cloth things going on. I just really hope that does not disintegrate over time as older uh, things tend to do. Let's turn them around here for a second. Just look at that. I want you guys to enjoy the entire figure. It's kind of hard to fit in the screen here, but you got the boosters, you got a nice little tail fin right here. Just look at that. This is die cast. This is die cast. That's die cast. Bam, bam, bam. All over the place die cast. Look at these working pistons. Well, they're not really working pistons, but they are pistons that move. That's kind of cool right there. Um, while we're on the subject of Articulation. Might as well show you what the articulation is. We got the head, we got um, the neck, sort of. Well, actually, this opens up. I'm going to show you that in a second. But we got the shoulders. You got a lot of movement in the shoulders. You know, it's not the most articulated thing, but you do have movement. 
you do have the elbows which are double jointed you'll see how far up they go and we got the little wrists and these fists I've been wanting to do this is get them prepped for storage because they feel a tad sticky and I'm afraid these things are just going to disintegrate over time because they do feel like rubber rubber and I would hate to lose these things um, you got little lenses here anyway uh, you got the waist I believe the um, the chassis on this or the internal skeleton is die cast there's no way for me to verify but I think it is I can tell by the joints how firm they are and I just showed you there uh, the legs and everything. I'm not going to go too far because it's going to stretch the cloth. But the uh, knees are double jointed as you can see. And you can hear really soft, beautiful ratchets. And of course the ankles. Be very careful guys because I don't know <laughs> if any of this plastic is ready to go. Um, and then of course you have the wings which can fold in and out. Actually they're not even holding themselves up anymore they used to alright well I guess you can always just tighten the screws or maybe I loosened it on purpose for that reason but it's a beautiful figure um, I don't know if this has any kind of light gimmick no I think it's just the regular uh, pat labors but what it does have as far as gimmicks is this opens up just like so then this opens up I forgot how this works but uh, it's got a little pilot figure I think it's an Indian dude isn't it all right, guys, now I'm super confused because I just went back to the box. There's not even instructions. I don't know how I came across this. I usually don't buy anything crappy, but I guess maybe this is the only one that I had access to. I don't know. My, my memory is bad. And guess what? I can't find the review in any of my channels. So I don't even think I reviewed this, which is kind of strange, isn't it? I've practically reviewed everything I have, but supposedly this comes up. You saw that. So first, the first step is to open this then this pops up then this opens and the the guys in there I'm not even gonna bother taking them out but I, don't, I think there's a way for this to come up or is it just the other ones matter of fact I just watched Josh's review uh, so I can get a little more info on the mechanisms of this figure it he thinks it's probably in there and doesn't come out I can't figure a way to take him out on the other the pat labors the other figures from CMs you can take the pilot figures out and they actually have a little thing that you can move to push them out um, but yeah but I thought that was a pretty neat mechanism um, so we'll go ahead and close it we'll bring this back down and by the way the hinges for the neck here are die cast metal bring that down and then close this just an absolutely beautiful figure I'm almost tempted to and I'm sure some of you guys out there are and now it's gonna be like a bidding war somewhere but kinda of tempted to get another one just so I can have one in a nice box or at least another one because if I lose this I'm gonna be so upset but just really just look at it I mean really this is like a little piece of jewelry I might hang it around my neck as a matter of fact get some chicks down at the bar Look at this. And look, that's what I love. They make pointy things. Like, if you grab this the wrong way, you're going to die. But, um... Oh, the pistol. That's right. I was going to show you the pistol. By the way, when I was uh, looking for the pistol, I happened to know that there's a PVC figure included. I'm pretty sure it's included. It's shown there. I'm so confused. I've just never been so confused. I'd like to blame it on my age, but, it, like, literally, this is just the weirdest thing. So... <laughs> Anyway, but here's a pistol. Uh, I noticed that the... Oh, please. Maybe these are PVC. Maybe they're not rubber. Because they would never put the... Uh, unless these little ball ends are plastic. And they're, the rubber's molded around it. That's a, quite a possibility, too. But it does feel... I don't know. I think I, think I should probably uh, protect this with something. But the ones in the box don't feel that way. They kind of feel like they're all plastic like this one here it's got a thumbs up which is kind of cool uh, and then of course you got the hands for the gun so we're gonna get that but you got these hands either the booby grabbing hands and I can say boobies because you're not supposed to be here if you're under 13 and of course we got the hands for the pistol and this the I'm so afraid to do this all right there we go and then we're gonna pop it in right here there you go you got your pistol and of course the arm is a little weak a lot of metal there. Alright guys, well thank you for joining me in this mysterious figure review. I don't even feel like it was a full review, I'm just so weirded out that I would own 
such a beautiful figure in such a horrible box. I really wish I could remember the story behind it, but most likely I bought it used. It was the last resort because uh, these were kind of hard to find back then. After Josh reviewed them, everybody wanted them. And I'm sure it's going to be like that again if some of you find this striking and you're new to the collecting thing. Or if you just missed out and I just piqued your interest. But anyway, uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And please uh, support the channel. You guys want to do Patreon, whatever, just click like, subscribe, whatever you guys want to do to help keep this channel going in 2020. There's a lot of changes coming up. Advertisers are, are slowing down or either backing out because of all these policy changes. So if you want to see things happening, you know, support. Uh, until next time, guys. Bye-bye.